Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 11 here in Dominican Republic. Got a lot of stuff to do. Thanks for joining me, though. So I'm gonna go visit the school where I did evangelistic series for a week there. I'm gonna go visit a lady where I stayed at her house when I did an evangelistic series. I'm going to another town, so today's gonna be a travel day. There's a lot to do, man. As you can see, ooh, I need a haircut. So we're gonna see if I can get a haircut today as well. My word, but vamonos. I'm official now. I got my little badge here. I'm official now. I can walk around everywhere. I guess you know for security reasons they have everybody you know make sure they're all official and everything. So it's all good. So it's, it's all good. Let's go see some of the teachers that I know. And, uh, see if anybody really. Come on, Dolly, para mira, Dios te bendiga. Yeah. I'm getting to see some of the teachers and uh, there's still more to see. El Roberto, mi hermano. Todo bien, gracias a Dios. Claro. Sí. Come here, my buddy Dilson. Pastor Dilson. Pastor Dilson. Nice to meet you guys. Yes. I hope that you have a great day today and you will bless it. Amen. Amen. That's right, man. So he studied English and as you heard, he can speak it just fine. You understood, I understood. And um, he's uh, he's doing theology. And is this your first place working? Not exactly. A church has been working in different many churches in my country, but it's the first time that I, that I study as a chaplain in this school. Okay, all right. So he's been uh, pastoring in different churches uh, since he's graduated, right? And so this is his first job as chaplain of El Colegio Adventista de Bethel, Bethel Adventist School. Yeah. Yes. Yes, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's very awesome because you have a great opportunity to work with child like this. They are so glad that they put Jesus in their life and the way we turn the love of Jesus with them. Uh, it's a, a new opportunity to, to work like Jesus working in our country. That's right. That's right. Education is like uh, planting seeds, right? That uh, one day we hope and pray will give fruit so that they will share what they have learned here at the school. Exactly. Awesome. Awesome, bro. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of my friends have wanted to learn Spanish, so how would you say cool in Spanish? I don't know how it exactly sounds in the translator, but it's like cool means bien, nice. Bien. 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 Excelente. 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 Bien, bien. Bien, bien, bien. Bien, bien. <laughs> okay. Well, vamos a vamos a seguir dando la vuelta a ver a a esos muchachos que digan hola y adiós. Seguro que sí. She's making something really cool. Let's just figure out what in the world she's making. Okay, that's it. ¿Qué es qué está haciendo ahí? Un collar. Un qué? A collar. Okay, un collar. Uh, un collar. I think it's a necklace. Necklace. Yeah, it's a necklace. All right. Muy bonito. Es peor que lo termine. Okay. No. She's changed a lot. Vamos a hacer una entrevista en inglés, está bien. Va a salir en YouTube. Claro. Una palabra de motivación a la gente de allá para que aprendan español. De Estados Unidos. A, la, a las personas que no hablan inglés fluido así y okay. puedan hablar mejor y ser menos. Enrique, mira la cámara. No. Ah, de aprender el español. Exacto. ¿Quieres decir algo también? La importancia sí. de hablar y español. Se va a convertir en la futura libero de nuestro país. Ok. O sea, en voleibol, la, 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 la más importante del voleibol. ¿Es verdad? Dale para allá. Dale, 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 dale para allá. Préstame esto, ven. La importancia de hablar el español. Sí. 
el español es eh, como el, más el segundo idioma que más hablado. Sí. Y... Es importante, es importante hablar español para, lo, para allá, los pa de otros países. Que ah, aparte que es uno de los eh, idiomas más, como un poco más difícil, porque tiene diversidad en, el, sí. en, en las cosas. Ah, ah. La mayoría de países de Latinoamérica hablan español, por lo que si ellos quieren viajar a uno de esos países, tienen que aprender español. ¿Sí o no? ¿Cuáles son algunas eh, frases que suelen decir aquí solamente? Ok, entonces vamos a tomar una foto y va a salir en el video también. Gonna go. Well, the last person I'm gonna visit, her name is Favet. I met her five years ago. Um, she's Haitian, but she learned English, Spanish, and now she's teaching here in the Adventist school. We're about to see her. She's in here. Hello, Samuel. Oh. <laughs> How good to see you. Yes, likewise. Hello, Samuel. You speak English? Uh -huh, yes. Oh. They are my oh. students, they speak English. All of them speak English. Say hello to Samuel. Hello, Samuel. We'll see you guys later. God bless you. Dios Thank you. Thank you. So that was awesome. Got to see Favet and some of the other teachers that remembered me. And now we're leaving. Yeah. We're heading out. That was fun. I'm glad we got to spend some time here at the Bethel at Venice School. But before I go, I gotta get some juice. Let's see what kind of juice they have here for sale. ¿Qué tipo de jugos venden aquí? Tamarindo. Yo prefiero un jugo de limón. ¿Cuánto cuesta el jugo de limón? 25. So good. Rico, muy bueno el jugo.